Welcome to Vectorworks 2013, where creativity and evolution combine to deliver an exciting new release. Creativity is a process that lives in constant evolution, and designing and improving software follows a similar path. In fact, the Nemechek Vectorworks team has worked continuously to improve our platform and deliver the most comprehensive and versatile set of design software available to meet your industry's evolving demands. Vectorworks software remains the clear choice for design tools that are flexible, versatile, intuitive, and smart for one simple reason, because we never stop evolving. While we can't possibly fit all of the improvements we've made to version 2013 in this video, we've highlighted the most significant ones to capture the attention of your creative mind. We hope you're as excited about this new release as we are. Now let's dig in and explore some of the enhanced tools and features of Vectorworks Architect. I'd like to turn the presentation over to our industry specialist who will walk you through the new features. Hello and welcome to Vectorworks 2013. This year we decided to break the new features into four major groups. Better 3D modeling and visualization, better BIM and IFC, improved efficiency, and enhanced interoperability. First, we've dramatically improved the performance of both panning and zooming. Whether you're drawing in 2D or modeling in 3D, you'll appreciate the faster redraw time, and you'll have more information available to you as you cruise around your file. Plus, you'll get much quicker OpenGL and 3D wireframe previews while rotating. If your current workflow requires you to model and navigate in 3D, I'm sure you're familiar with our perspective environment. For 2013, we've addressed your wishes, and you can now work in a full screen perspective view while modeling. You even have the option to turn on the cropping window when setting up views for presentations. This may seem like a small change, but with the addition of a representative ground and sky, it now makes the perspective view a viable modeling mode. The Vectorworks walkthrough tool has evolved to provide an interactive experience that's more responsive and predictable when navigating inside a model. For 2013, you'll be able to click on an area of the screen and start walking. Where you click, you'll see a reference point that your cursor will move in relation to. The movement and rotation has been improved for a much smoother experience, letting you create better visualizations of your design. So just think of your pointer as your new joystick. ClipCube is used as a 3D modeling aid in Vectorworks 2013. You no longer need to manually adjust visibility settings in order to see obstructed objects. In Vectorworks 2013, you simply select the object or objects you wish to see, then enable the ClipCube mode. Not only can you view the objects via the ClipCube, you can also manipulate them within this viewing mode, then exit the ClipCube to return to your normal view much faster than having to change visibility one class at a time. The ClipCube provides additional visibility control over large, complex models, allowing you to work on isolated parts within the interactive boundaries of the ClipCube. The new Surface Array tool helps you explore complex repeated elements in the design of your building envelope, curtain wall facades, and truss type structural systems, providing an unrestrained fluid design environment as your project evolves. What once took perhaps hours to painfully model can now be created in a matter of minutes. Let's take a look. In its simplest form, two objects are required a base surface consisting of a planar object or NURB surface, and an array item, which is the object you want repeated across the surface. Once you create the surface array, a coordinate system lets you shift the array item around the base surface to achieve the desired pattern or create even more complex patterns. 
You can also select how Vectorworks handles the edge condition of your array, either overlap, trim, or omit. With these three options, you'll be able to quickly create the edge condition you need. It won't be long until you're creating complex NURBS-based forms that can add a high level of sophisticated features to your designs. A new tool for properly showing complex objects is the Auto Hybrid tool. As we know, Graphic Convention says that what's above the cutting plane should be shown dashed. The cutting plane itself should be a fairly heavy line, and what's below should be shown as solid line work. Well, for 2013, we can automatically produce this drawing convention with just a few mouse clicks. The door and window objects for 2013 have been improved. Door and window ID tags can now be shown in a 3D view, like for building sections and elevations, providing a more thoroughly coordinated documentation of your project. Jam extensions will provide a more accurately detailed assembly, and you'll be able to simultaneously edit parameters of multiple objects when that inevitable design change occurs. We've also added new sash configuration options to windows, including tilt and turn, vertical pivot, and cottage double hung, as well as a picture window with sliders. Further, a very clever unequal sash option has been added to the jam and sash group, enabling you to create custom asymmetrical proportions. Additionally, you can create custom shutter widths for both interior and exterior shutters. Walls have also received some attention. They're now more responsive to changes and better at maintaining wall joins when adjacent walls are relocated. Entering a change in length of a wall into the object info palette can now change the length of that particular wall plus all the walls that are joined to it. The roof and roof face objects have been re-engineered for 2013 and are now connected to Vectorworks Parasolid modeling kernel. This change delivers the improved performance and reliability you need to create almost any roof configuration you can imagine. We've also improved the functionality of the roof face object, so you can insert both dormers and skylights. The same methodology you use to create a dormer in a roof applies here. Simply create a symbol from a window, hover the symbol over the roof face, and voila, instant dormer. We've also been busy responding to user requests regarding improvements to the space object. Space boundaries can now be set by picking the walls of the room. If you move, delete, or add walls surrounding an existing autobound space object, it will automatically update to the new shape. Additionally, the height of the space object now has a setting like other story-aware objects, such as walls. In addition, we've improved the way room finish, room name, and other user customizable lists are written and saved making it easier to share files and lists between users, machines, and projects without losing important data or duplicating efforts to coordinate them. We continue to enhance the functionality and usability of the Building Information Modeling Interoperability Data Format, IFC. IFC data for objects is now visible in the Object Info Palette. This also gives you direct access to the IFC data dialog from the same location. You can attach IFC data to symbol definitions in the resource browser and automatically update all instances of symbols already in your file. We also added new options to the IFC export process to give you the flexibility to share data with more BIM applications like model viewers, facilities management applications, and construction management platforms.
And when it comes time to create a door or window schedule, or any other report for that matter, here's a tool that can enhance that report. In its simplest form, we've included a new option when creating a schedule. For Windows, for example, it's called the Window Schedule with Image, and it does just that. It includes a hidden line image of your window in the worksheet. There are options under the Format Cells pull-down that give you the opportunity to show that window in several views like Isometric or render it in OpenGL. You might also consider using this feature to create something like a plumbing fixtures report, complete with images of each fixture. Here's an example of a report showing the standard wireframe image, as well as a hidden line view and an OpenGL rendered view. Once again, a new option in the Format Cells dialog box called Images controls the look and size of your embedded images. Dashed lines and custom line types are now resources that can be easily created and shared. The new feature enables you to create line types based on a repeating pattern of Vectorworks objects. This can include text or graphics. Since line types are resources, you can easily edit them, share them, and set teamwork standards. You can now choose to display classes inside the organization dialog box and navigation palette in hierarchical form. You'll be able to hide groups of classes you don't need to see. A great addition to the Vectorworks program is the new hyperlink feature. With 2013, you can create hyperlinks with associated thumbnails or symbols to launch websites containing product manufacturer's data, open other Vectorworks documents, open a folder, or display save views, sheet layers, open file resources such as image files, PDFs, movie files, and more. Plus, hyperlinks are preserved when exporting to PDF. In Vectorworks 2013, you can effortlessly import complex models created in Rhinoceros. The addition of direct import and export support for Rhino 3DM files lets you collaborate with the Rhino application and further your design and documentation within Vectorworks. You asked and we listened. With Vectorworks 2013, we've added several improvements and capabilities to the DXF DWG import and export process that will dramatically improve the interoperability process. Now you can export Vectorworks 3D objects as 2D flattened graphics in the DWG model space. A new command lets you do a batch export for DWG DXF from multiple files at the same time. A new option allows you to make 2D and 3D conversion resolution adjustments during DWG DXF imports. A new option lets you choose true RGB or index colors on DWG DXF exports. A new DWG DXF import feature improves the speed of your imports by alerting you when complex hatches with multiple boundaries are found. This alert gives you the option to skip importing the hatch, convert the hatch to lines, or proceed with the import. And you can now import and export the Autodesk DWF file format. This means users will now have an even greater flexibility to interoperate and collaborate with others in both 2D and 3D. And now for those of you longing for a way to share your models with energy analysis and other modeling applications, you now can with direct support for GBXML. Export from Vectorworks and work with a wide variety of energy applications such as IES VE Pro or Gaia. With RenderWorks 2013, you can now easily work with additional popular 3D applications with added file export options. With the new Collada export option, you can collaborate with applications such as Google Earth, 
ArcGIS, and SketchUp. In addition, the support of FBX File Export lets you easily work with 3D Max and other modeling tools. As we've demonstrated in this brief video, Vectorworks 2013 is an exciting new release that will help you take your designs to the next level. And we know that once you explore all the positive evolutions that Vectorworks has to offer, you too will agree that it remains the best software to help you realize your most inspired visions. Streamline your workflows, improve your efficiency, evolve with Vectorworks 2013.